Minecraft Bedrock is very different to Java. Leaves can turn frosty, pistons look different, and players can blink. So today I bring you 50 things that are different in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Parrots on Bedrock Edition are cooler than Java parrots. This is because parrots on Bedrock will dance on your shoulder when a song is playing. On Java, they just kind of sit there and mind their own business? Come on parrots, do something. This is a Bedrock sheep, and this is a Java sheep. Can you tell me what's different about the two sheep? Well, bedrock sheep have the wool colour around their faces, but the java sheep do not. This actually looks really weird. Another odd feature with sheep on bedrock is when they're sheared, they'll have coloured patches on their body that's based on their wool colour. On java, they have patches, but it will always be white. Maps have a very unique feature on bedrock edition, as empty maps can be used to locate players, which is called the empty map locator. On java, this feature does doesn't exist, but it should. What makes a bedrock turtle more special than a java turtle? Well, on bedrock, they're actually called sea turtles, but on java, they're just plain old turtles. Foxes on bedrock actually stand a chance, as they have double the health compared to java. On bedrock, foxes have 10 hearts of health, but on java, they only have 5. The hardest game mode in Minecraft is, of course, hardcore. It's a simple premise, you only get one life and you're set to the hardest difficulty, but on bedrock edition, Minecraft hardcore doesn't even exist. I guess that's one thing us Java players have over Bedrock. Don't mess with an Endermite on Bedrock Edition as they will attack Endermen without any hesitation. On Java, Endermites are a little more chill as they will only attack Endermen if they are provoked. Speaking of Endermen, when they spawn in your Minecraft world, they actually have a chance to teleport randomly. On Java, they don't do this as they're not that shy and will always say hi. When you kill a mob in Java Edition, XP orbs will instantly drop. But on Bedrock Bedrock Edition, you have to wait until the mob fully disappears before the XP orb will appear. Come on, hurry up, I want my XP! Pistons look a little different in Bedrock Edition compared to Java. On Java, the extended piston arm is quite thin compared to the chunky Bedrock version and the animation is different as well. Another difference is that pistons on Bedrock are capable of pushing certain tile entities such as hoppers or chests. I'm sure many redstoners on Java are jealous of this feature. Fishing rods in Bedrock Edition are way stronger than Java's fishing rods as they have 6 times the durability. Bedrock has 384 durability whereas Java only has 64. With that said, there is a drawback to fishing in Bedrock Edition as you are unable to catch any tropical fish or puffer fish in any jungle biome. Java crossbows are better than Bedrock crossbows. This is because crossbows on Java have 465 durability whereas on Bedrock it's only 460. Yep, you heard me, there is a one durability difference. Bedrock swamps are a little more exciting compared to Java as you're able to find naturally generated giant mushrooms within the biome. These mushrooms actually really suit the biome. Desert wells are far more common in Bedrock compared to Java as they have a 1 in 500 chance to generate per chunk, but in Java it's a 1 in 1000 chance. That's annoying for us Java players as desert wells actually have a purpose in 1.20 now. Have you ever had trouble looking through igloo windows on Bedrock Edition? Well, I'm not surprised, because the igloos on Bedrock actually used packed ice for windows instead of regular ice on Java. Leaves in Bedrock Edition are really interesting, as if they generate in a snowy-related biome, they'll begin to appear frost-coloured if it snows. Java Edition seriously needs this feature, man. It's so cool! Searching for jungle temples is almost a bit pointless, as they don't really offer anything valuable. In Bedrock, they're also harder to find, as they only have a 3 out of 14 chance of generating, while in Java it's a 3 out of 7 chance. In Bedrock Edition, there is an exclusive shipwreck structure that can generate. That's right, in Bedrock you're able to find shipwrecks that are made from acacia wood. In Java, these are nowhere to be found. In Bedrock, you're able to obtain dirt paths by using Silk Touch. In Java, trying to break a dirt path just gives you, well, dirt. On Bedrock Edition, Enchanted Golden Apples give the player Regeneration 5, but on Java, it's only Regeneration 2. Dropping items, punching the air, and jumping around will play sound effects in Bedrock Edition, but in Java, it's completely silent. Shields are a bit annoying to use on Bedrock, especially on PC. This is because if you want to activate the shield on Bedrock, you need to crouch, but on Java, all you need to do is right-click, which I much prefer. What's different about my face? 
face. But that's right, I just blinked. This doesn't happen on Java, but it does on Bedrock. Steve's eyes must be so dry on Java, man. On Bedrock Edition, when bone meal is used directly on flowers, it will spawn the same type of flower nearby. In Bedrock Edition, the fence gate as an item is missing the holes on its texture. Seriously, how did Mojang miss this one? It looks terrible. Bedrock can't seem to have complete textures, but what they do have instead are 3D fishing bobbers. Seriously, these bobbers look so much cooler than the Java ones, which are only 2D. There's a special potion type on Bedrock Edition that doesn't exist in Java. This potion is called the Decay Potion, which gives a player the withering effect. Us Java players all know that raw beef is called steak when it is cooked. In Bedrock, raw beef is just known as cooked beef. Bit boring, but fair enough. Java players should be jealous of Bedrock's cakes. This is because cakes in Bedrock can stack up to 64, whereas in Java, you can't even stack one. Java players will just have to physically stack them like this. Wool in Bedrock Edition is somewhat fireproof because if you attempt to use it in a furnace, it won't do anything and can't smelt items. In Java, however, wool can be used as fuel in a furnace. In Bedrock Edition, snow layers are unique as they are affected by gravity and have a falling animation. On Java, if the supporting block is destroyed, the snow layer will be destroyed as well. When reading a book, you're always looking at two pages, which is exactly how you view books in Bedrock Edition. In Java, however, you can only look at one page, which means it isn't accurate to real life and therefore means you should never play Java again. Only joking, we love Java. How much string do you think one piece of cobweb gives you? Well, on Java, you can only break the cobweb to get one piece of string. But on Bedrock, you can actually craft the cobweb into nine string. If you thought Steve was strong in Java Edition, then Bedrock Steve is on another level as players in Bedrock are able to break a furnace with their bare fist. In Java Edition, breaking a furnace with your fist gives you, well, nothing. Beds in Bedrock are a little flat. This is because beds in Bedrock use 2D textures when in item form. The beds in Java are 3D. In Bedrock, riding a horse with a shield is a pretty powerful mechanic as shields will automatically block any incoming attack when you're on the horse. In Java, you have to hold the shield up manually, so it's not as easy. Obtaining mob heads can be a challenging task. This is because in both Java and Bedrock, you need a charge creeper to kill said mob. With that said, mob heads are easier to get in Bedrock. This is because in Bedrock, if a charge creeper blows up multiple mobs, you can get a mob head from every mob that died to the creeper explosion. In Java, if multiple mobs die to a charge creeper, only one of the mobs will drop a head. Boats and minecarts have a very odd feature in Bedrock Edition, as you are able to name these items with a name tag and they'll display the name above them when they're placed. In Java, this feature is nowhere to be found. In Bedrock, when a nether portal generates in mid-air, they'll always generate with netherrack in the surrounding areas of the portal. In Java Edition, it's a lot more dangerous as these portals can only generate with a tiny bit of obsidian, so be careful. Eating cake in Bedrock is a lot funnier than Java, as when you consume each slice, you'll always make a burping sound. I'll be real, I'm a grown man laughing at a burping sound in Minecraft. What, what, what is wrong with me, man? Rails in Java Edition are much stronger than the ones in Bedrock, as they cannot be destroyed by water. Rails in Bedrock, however, hate water, as they'll instantly be destroyed on contact. Bedrock Edition is cursed, as at night time when there is a full moon, cats have a 50% chance of spawning as a black cat. In Java Edition, this cannot happen, so you don't have to worry about a bunch of black cats giving you bad luck. I mean, let's be real, do you even believe in all this bad luck stuff anyway? On Bedrock Edition, you might want to turn your weather sounds down as it still uses the old rain sound effects. Any old school Java player will remember this rain sound as it was ear-piercingly loud back in the day. Maybe it's time for Bedrock to update their rain sounds to match Java Editions as it's much calmer. Salmon in Java Edition are a little one-dimensional as they're always the same size when they're spawned. In Bedrock, however, salmon comes in different sizes when spawned. I want the bigger salmon, I'm hungry. In Bedrock Edition, you are able to make a boat train with your pets as you are able to attach leads onto boats. Sadly, this is not a feature on Java Edition. As you know, playing on peaceful mode prevents hostile mobs from spawning. For example, if you attempt to spawn a Vindicator, Evoker, or Piglin Brute in Java, they instantly despawn. But in Bedrock Edition, for some reason, it is possible to spawn these three mobs. And finally, when when riding a pig
pig in Bedrock Edition, if you right click the pig with a carrot on a stick, it will actually play a sound cue for the pig when it is speeding up. On Java Edition, the unique pig sound effect is nowhere to be heard. There are still 50 more things that are different in Bedrock Edition. Click the end screen to watch part 1. Anyways, my name is Anthony and goodbye!